This summer, meet the magical mermaid at VGP Marine Kingdom from April 12th to May 31st. Hello and welcome to this episode of The Culture Vibes in which we talk to writers and artists about their work. Today, I am joined by a very special guest, M.K. Rayana, veteran theatre, actor, director and a very, very fascinating personality uh, you know, on the cultural scene of India. And it's such a pleasure and a privilege to be in conversation with you, sir, today. Thank you so much for joining us. The privilege is mine also. <laughs> so we'll be talking about uh, Rana Saab's memoir, uh, Before I Forget. It has just been published by Penguin Books. It's a, it's a heart-wrenching memoir of, uh, you know, uh, of his growing up years in Kashmir. Uh, and of course, how he sort of uh, left the place, uh, came to Delhi. Uh, all those memories of uh, his work in theatre, how he started theatre as an experiment. And uh, it's a very fascinating story of somebody who uh, made a mark on the cultural scene of India in the, po the post-independent India. And written, of course, with a lot of heart, with a lot of empathy. And I really, really uh, enjoyed reading, sir, uh, the way you have started. Right. To begin with, sir, if you could, I could take you back uh, from where you begin in the book. Uh, and that is the story of, uh, uh, it's, the, it's, it's a great story of migration, exodus, and also a story of belonging and a sense of home, you know. So if you could talk a little bit about, you know, your growing up years and uh, till that moment of rupture that happened in 1990 when the exodus of, uh, you, you know. See, I, in fact, I have written in the book in the first line in the preface say that, right. I, I, in a lighter tone say that I am the uh, child of the India socialism. Right. And that's a fact because those were the times when country was just going for the trust with destiny dream right. and uh, people were, uh, you know, ready to do something for the nation. Mm -hmm. And in Kashmir there was a theme by the organization, the political movement that was there, Naya Kashmir, New Kashmir has to be which had great dreams and mm -hmm. writers, poets, um, journalists, musicians, think of anybody in cultural horizon, they were all part of that movement. Mm -hmm. And we were the children. And something filtered down to children. Children almost must get linked to the thing. Right. And in my school, I had a very great uh, principal called Dinanath Nadim, who was he's an iconic poet. Yeah. He's, with a, he's a reference poet there. Mm. And he used to write for us children. And he wrote one play mm. called Neki Badi. It was a beautiful opera, musical thing. I, mm. And it became something really big. Our school produced. And, any VVIP who came from abroad or from India, and wheel children will be performing that. Right. And then they, there was this another phase of us when we became little bit in middle school and we were little actors or child actors with amateur activities there. Then these elders will come and sort of nurture you. Yeah. I got nurtured in music, I got nurtured in theatre, mm -hmm. in literature. These great writers will talk to you as an equal, like your son. And they were great uncles to us. So it was a very progressive, mm. open society, very secure and feel free ambience that time. Right. We right. could go anywhere in any mountain. Mm -hmm. And we had a gang, young friends. Every holiday we'll go from one mountain to another, come right. down. We didn't have money. We were not affluent families. We were mm. working class families. Yeah. 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 And and we could do it, we managed to do yeah. it with very little money in hand. Mm -hmm. But We'll swim in the Dal Lake for hours, mm, mm. and uh, people used to go on the boat. They had to pay, but we from we were good swimmers. So we'll go from the bank itself and okay. start swimming. And uh, if we did something, you know, error here and there, there were these elders in the mohalla or in the college, in the school, who will catch. Right. And this is not on. So you fed. You are being watched also. That was there, which we also gives to you a lot of security. Right. And yeah, I think I'm the early age, I must be one of those rare kids that time. Mm -hmm. I never used to watch Hindi films much. Yeah. I used to watch Hollywood movies. Okay. That used to happen at 6 o'clock when, you know, before I go you know, uh, to, uh, to sleep, right. I go to one, one and a half hour, come watch a film. I felt that time they were better made films right. that time. But this was in the 50s and 60s yeah, yeah. theatres were... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then it came, became with the college mm -hmm. that we had to see the first show of the new movie. That right. was also... The, Mm. So we had a group of friends who will you know, mm. sort of gas around that. I saw it yesterday, very <laughs> first show. 
first show, first day. First it show. was it was at, uh, atmosphere. There was hmm. no what you call the no, you know element of who hmm. he you and he yeah yeah I and him. It was not like that. This was sort of lot of kinship and very kinship, yeah. comradery, com hmm. great comradery, great comradery. Yeah, right. So you also talk about you know of course uh, you know this uh, uh, when when uh, Sheikh Abdullah was jailed and now after the fight I yeah. still remember that yeah. scene. Yeah, yeah. Suddenly yeah. school, garja, we went yeah. home, go yeah. home. Yeah. We were sort of celebrating. Yeah. The moment I came from the day out, I looked at it. There's nobody on the road. Yeah. And there's this bridge, Habakudal bridge, and I see soldiers, one here, one there with a rifle and a bonnet, right. which I never seen in my life. Mm. I see mm. a couple of them. You know, they look really what funny. Right. And I started crying, and I saw one soldier. Somebody was walking on the, on the bicycle, caught hold of him and gave him a few slaps, and right. life frightened me more. Mm -hmm. And I don't know who mm. held my hand mm. and just asked me, "Where are you going?" I said, "My home is this." I said, "Come," mm -hmm. and he made me to cross the road. Mm -hmm. After the bridge crossing, and he handed me over to another person. Then that person had handed me to another person. Oh. While on the main roads. The um, uh, protests were happening because of the. Right. I know th now know that it was Sheikh of the last Sheikh 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 yeah. and stone pelting is the old yeah. thing there. And uh, I can say, out of all these three people who made me home, mm. one was a Kashmiri Hindu and both are mm. Muslims. And mm. it was not a bachar or a yoga The child is to reach home and he must be safe. Mm. Mm. Hand over hand, nobody knew anybody. Right, right, right. And you also write that you know, uh, with his arrest, of course, he was in incarcerated for about twelve odd years, and that was the longest time in the history of Kashmir. And this, this also, uh, in some way, the uh, ruptured the you know the the new Kashmir movement because you write that how Kashmir was linked with all these progressive movements that was going out at that that point of time. And there were writers like uh, uh, all the major figures of yeah, the yes. progressive Painters, writers, yeah, 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 yeah. They were part of that movement. So could you talk a little bit about how that sort of uh, really had an impact on on the history of Kashmir uh, from you there see, on? You we got. Can you imagine a child of eight or nine years old mm. in class, eight or nine? I used to get the invitation because I was a um, little child actor right. for Begum Akhtar's concert, Raju Maharaj concert, Ravi Shankar's concert, Mohammad Rafi's concert, mm. and you know they we, it it was involving at the mass level also. There right. were concerts which will be popular concerts of Zakmi and Habib Painter, the big kawals of that right. time, and that will happen at the stadium. Mm. Begum Akhtar is in an auditorium or under a beautiful tent it will happen. I did not understand much, but I felt I must go there. It right. was a good thing to meet people there. Mm. And when I had to go back home, mm. I did, it was there were no street lights the way we have now. I used to be a little scared of the dark, and but somebody will take you. Mm. Where are you going? But that was the time, I, you know, my parents were not worried about me. Mm. My grandmother was a little bit concerned, what is this boy, little boy doing, what my, my grandson yeah. doing? But Everybody was trying to come, really contribute to the development of the city. Yeah, to the cultural, cultural fabric of the scene country. As well as yeah. In fact, it would be realized, mm -hmm. nobody tells this about it. Mm -hmm. was at that time, the first one, Sheikh was the Prime Minister, we had already made books in Kashmiri, mm -hmm. in technical fields also. Right. That Kashmiri will be our mother tongue and we'll, that will be mm -hmm. the language of education. Mm -hmm. But somehow it got once he was arrested and the things started going okay, why it straight for some time, mm. good Bakshi Sahab was also okay. Right. But gradually, it, it, I think the democracy flundered. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, it, somehow it, it didn't. Right. Mm, that, you know, moment, from the, that moment on? No, no, no. I think the seeds of um, mm. feudalism are in us, still mm. in us. Mm. To shed those seeds, to destroy those seeds takes time. Mm. Mm. And that did not happen there also. So you are saying that we still have not actually got no, rid of I, don't think feudal we mindsets. Don't, we have a terrible feudal democracy and mm. no democracy. Mm. Mm. It's mm. not a democracy. Right, right. Okay, so we will move on to, I mean, there are some poignant chapters and those are, those are of course the moments that mark the tumultuous history uh, of, of the country and uh, you of course were a witness to it, uh, mm. also as an artist you got a, uh, you go, you got to respond to it, but the way, the very fact that you lived through it and sort of uh, immersed, you know those those uh, churnings of history. 
if you could talk a little bit yes, about... I'll tell you one thing. Uh, yeah. It's not that because I'm an artist. Right. I'm a citizen also. Of course. Yeah. And I don't think my art is away from my citizenship. Right. My citizenship as given to me by the government of uh, constitution, by parliament has given to me, mm. is my heritage now. Yes. I may have other heritages, but this is the heritage on which we have to build our modern India. Right. And when I used to see some, you know, disturbances that used to happen, mm. I would leave my art that time and participate in it. Right. And I, I remember going into demonstrations, going into all kinds of things mm. and uh, making our point. Right. And that inversely will enrich my understanding of my community, my India, uh, and also enrich my work. Right. It cannot be, mm. these are not separate. Right. They are the, the heart is for um, these oracles and mm. ventilator and, and the heart is one but it has four chambers, you know, right. it's like that. Mm. It cannot be separated from that. Therefore, as a citizen you will see me going to return of my Kashmir after I lost everything there was, mm. myself asking me, mm. how can I leave my, my birthplace like that? Right. Culture has gone completely out. It has. To, there was no singing in the you know, mm. weddings. Folk songs finished. Folk actors cannot perform. Mm. And if you take away pen from a writer, right. you cannot write. Or you take an instrument from a musician. Mm -hmm. Or you, from a singer, he has a voice but you cannot sing or you cannot raise a voice. Mm. That is fascism. Right. And that has to be resisted. There must be thousands of voices should be there. Yeah. There cannot be one voice to a country which is so multiply beautiful and multiply religious. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I've been across India. Mm -hmm. Every inch I say, oh, you need two more lives to understand this country. It is so right. in depth. In, in, in so much thought, traditional knowledge has gone so deep into scientifically, mm -hmm. not uh, in the superstition way. Right. There's a lot of um, our scholars in the Sanskrit time, mm -hmm. Buddhist times, they need to be studied, they need to be understood. Right. And you can't just cut these books, this book you can't take you this. That will not work. Mm. It will not work. It will not make happy. A citizen will be all the time either scared, terrified, right. and become a you know, whatever, become a dumbo. You, you have no, mm. with a two blinkers like a horse he is trotting, you will not right. be able to do anything. Mm. I mm. think we need citizens. We mm. have to now left. I think that whatever has happened all these years, mm. I think the rework on the citizen of India. Right. Because I think, I believe it also in fact, mm. I'm scared also this constitution is being played around with. We mm. need back to give our strength to the constitution. And all my activities, whether it was going to Kashmir, whether it was working for the six in 84 riots mm. or trying to trace Punjab, what was happening, even yeah. to the extent I went to Bindrawala's house after his death, mm. I met his mother, his father, brother, mm. everybody, was for me to understand what is... You wanted to make a film on that? You, we, there was a film going to be made mm. and document, we went, we went to all sorts mm. of places at that time. This was after 1984? 85 we went. 85. 85 yeah. went immediately. And, but and before that, if you could also talk a little bit about the emergency and how, you know, what was uh, happening then. Oh, uh, I tell you, oh, yes. <laughs> you see, by that time I was a young man who had yeah, left yeah. drama school mm. center and I had done a lot of good theatre productions. I got some awards from my work. Mm. Then I did a play called uh, uh, Caucasian Chalk Circle in Punjabi adaptation in yeah. It was a super success. Yeah. Its musical score is still, they sing is still 20 years back. They mm. think, they love it, they, you know, you do a production but music will be my music. Yeah. So it has become their music. Mm. But then suddenly it was stopped. Okay. And uh, I, I didn't understand why that time. Mm. So I took a young man, a protest, I went to the, yeah. the, this, um, what is it called, special secretary to the chief minister at Punjab. I went to early morning to his office. And I said, hello, why is the protest? What is this? How can you... He was looking at me. He said, when did you come to Chandigarh? Mm. I said, I came just nine o'clock in the morning. Mm. He said, did you go anywhere? I said, no. And uh, he said, uh, what's your plan now? 
I said, I come to talk to you, please that display happen. Keep you. We have done 26 fantastic shows. Thousands of people have watched it. It's so popular. I can't understand. There's a joke in Delhi that you have served a warrant against Bertolt Brecht, who died long back. And he laughed. Yeah. He said, now listen to me. Did you have tea, breakfast? I said, no. And he asked for tea, gave me tea with biscuits. And he said, look, you're like my son. And uh, I have advice for you. I have seen your play. I liked it. Mm. But my chief minister is not trusting his own personal <laughs> secretary. Yeah. You know? So my advice to you is don't go anywhere. Is a Chandigarh is a union territory. Mm. Don't enter Punjab. Otherwise, I have to arrest you. Okay. That time it dawned on me what is this mean? He said, person non greta, yeah. which I never knew what it was. Yeah. And he said, just and to open the drawer and took mm. out a uh, handwritten script in which they were called cast words and it was a, he said this is what has been sent to chief minister mm. and he is not trusting me it, this is not the script but my advice to you is just get out of this place right leave it at that and i left mm -hmm. and then it we realized it is difficult to now work and uh, what do we do we did our underground kind of street plays mm. quietly we did Jaloos, we did a lot of other plays but you see also at that time mm. I was a you know, young man who had just come out right. from drama school national school drama, drama had just yeah, come yeah, out yeah so I then at reach Delhi I got a letter right. from chief metropolitan councillor that time it never used to be chief minister in Delhi mm. it would be chief Mr. Mm. Radha Raman Mm. sending a letter to me to present myself in his office on such and such day, such and such time. Mm. Luckily, I had no address. That was a few. <laughs> it had come to National School of Drama. Okay. And I saw the letter. I showed it to one poet called Sarvesha Dayal Saxena. He mm. looked and he laughed. He said, better you have two choices. He mm -hmm. said, what? Either he is going to pick you up mm. Mm. or he will make you to work for him because they know that you do a lot of good street theatre. So you decide. I took a bus and left for Kanpur. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you had to also look at. I, I, gradually, I got politicized right. in things, and then you meet people who think like you. You know. Right. No, but you have been associated with, and we'll talk about uh, the exodus uh, in a bit. But before that, uh, since we are talking about NSD and yeah. uh, you know emergency, uh, you have been, of course, been associated with India's foremost institutions like FTII, Pune, uh, NSD, of course, where uh, you studied, and that is the point when your when you arrived in Delhi to yeah, basically yes, study absolute, in, absolute. you know, yeah, and uh, you know, I wanted to understand from from you that you know, uh, that that was also a time when you know that cultural sort of this thing was shaping up, and you were very very instrumental in in, in that that how culture took shape, how for instance cinema was seen, uh, uh, you know, and I uh, think seventies mm, was a very mm, very fervent decade right. mm. in two sense. We were all young kids, and long, long, lot of young kids, youngsters came from film shoot Pune. Right. I think we all wanted to change it. Mm -hmm. In fact, I remember talking to my Sanskrit teacher. She said, right. "You know, Shakuntala will enter like that." I said, "How do you know? Right. Why can't she enter the other way? Wow, what is a big deal?" So, confirm. but what was we were trying to do? That a new theatre has to happen, and another group of people from the Pune Institute and region in Karnataka came another idea, new cinema has to happen. Yeah. So we had a new wave of cinema and and some of us joined hands like Om Shupuri, me and Marathi actors, Bengali theatre actors, lot of them you will see yeah. doing these films. And suddenly you saw these films getting awards internationally, we doing plays, getting awards, getting yeah. recognition yeah. and there was so much space in the printing media that time that we will get very good reviews right. and there were good critics mm. who will criticize you also right. and that was the time when uh, state was also very I would say supportive of supportive. They mm. created a finance corporation, mm. they create, gave full powers to Sangin Nata Academy mm. because it is an autonomous body, do your work. That was the time also experiments modernity was get of India was getting a little bit yeah. defined, defined, I would say. Yeah, it was yeah. sprouting out in the sense, mm. how much of the tradition we have to take? Yes. What yes. does tradition mean? Mm. Does tradition mean the blindly following it or we need to reinterpret? Mm. For example, I would say my search was to mm. find the 
seeds of modernity in the tradition. Right, right. And I will, I will go to folk actors, go to villages, spend time with them, try to learn with them, and then when do I do my own production, and I will be using the elements of tradition because, mm. because, because there's a very important question. This that time, the theatre that was happening was mm. typical, typical Western mm. Aristotelian three-act play. Okay. Ibsen, drawing mm. rooms, yeah. etc. And but theatre in tradition, even in the Greek or mm. in the uh, times of um, uh, religious plays in mm. Europe and other places or in India, mm. is open here. Right. And people come all sides to the different grammar pedagogy works for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. And in in the uh, European theatre, you could sing. It is only dialogue, 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 dialogue. Mm. No dance. Mm. But you look at your countryside, everybody culture thing is you dance, act, you do all kinds, and you create the same kind of impact through different devices. Yeah. So that makes us to go really. Mm. Let us look at the Natya Shastra. What does it say? Right. And when I I read three four versions of Natya Shastra and scholars I met, mm. I realized what Natya Shastra. Is a book. It's called book of cookery, okay. a cooking book. Mm. It's about ten, Cookbook. and mm. Mm. you can experiment. Mm. It is there. It's not following. Mm. It never says follow the way I tell you. Yeah. He says this is it. It gives a definition. It gives a principle, and you do what you want to do with it. You can do it in your own way also. And yeah. then I talked to one you know, scholar in Ujjain when mm. I was doing bass plays there. I said, tell me about music. I mean, uh, music is such a diverse thing. Mm. He said, "You know, your music." He said, "Not just the quote. He quoted it, you know, uh, one of the texts there. He said it is, it is um, what you call sthani, means of yeah. the locale. Mm. So you are in Madhya Pradesh, you the locale. Right. Then you are becoming relevant. Mm. You go to Madras, it will be different thing. You go to Kerala, they use Chanda, it will be different thing. Mm. So then you understand the diversity of." Attitude of whosoever wrote this Natya Shastra, they say Brahma wrote it. I think Brahma was a great democrat because he did something great, mm. which mm. we have. He see, they call it fifth Veda. Right. But this is the Veda. He said this is for every caste. Mm. 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 For you keep that. This is for every caste. He knew the mischief. Okay. I think. Yeah. So he yeah. said access to it is of everybody. Therefore, it is a. It has a modern mm. meaning. Mm. He mm. could see the the Vedvans that time. Could see mm. that who you know, yeah. experimentation, contemporary times will change, mm. new things will come, and there should be a place for them, a sanction for them. Right. In fact, in Sanskrit times, mm. lot of Sanskrit writers themselves broke the laws of Natya Shastra. Then, right. and Bhas writes in Urvangam play the death of Duryodhan on the stage, which is sacrilege. Mm. You mm. cannot do. Death on stage, neither in Indian Sanskrit drama, yeah. neither in Greeks. Mm. But he did it. Can you imagine what must have happened that time? Yeah. Now you yeah. do it. Yeah, it's a completely different scene altogether. Different scene. Yeah, yeah. So that time, the, for us, it was making modern Indian theatre, modern films. Right. So you'll see most of my films have been the parallel cinema. People have right. worked with Mani Kaul, Kumar Shani, Manal Sen. Yeah, such Goinda. legends of parallel cinema. Film and also, you, your own sort of. Uh, you were very clear from the very beginning that you are going to be a freelancer in the, in the sense that you know you would yeah, be yeah, yeah. Doing, doing a lot of experiments of your own and your theatre group that you formed, yeah, Prayo, group, that, Prayo, that was experiment. Yeah, that, that was also uh, we used to call it is it is earn and burn. Right. We'll earn money and burn it here. Do something. Yeah. Yeah. And some wonderful pieces we created from that. It just uh, symbolizes that sense of immersion in it. That how involved you, you see, are in the, in whole the thing. job. So, I tell you, only yeah. mm, you know. I was yesterday thinking, a lot of my friends have become weak shots now, they are retired or got a job. What right. have they done? Yeah. Oh, they were just cleaning the utensils in the jobs are cleaning. Mm -hmm. And financing, you have no place to be. You don't have a table, you don't have, you don't have to clean utensils. Yeah. You are building something, <laughs> you are creating something else. Right, you are right. free, nobody is mm -hmm. stopping you. Mm -hmm. Yes, it has its own problems of the resources, that I agree. Mm -hmm. But it is a free space. Right. But looking back, you would say that you have no regrets? Uh, no, no, no regrets. Yeah. No regrets. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Regrets. I mm. think I'm. Mm. I mean, I. I think I'm blessed. Right. I. I don't know how I took that decision. Mm. And mm. I. In fact, I joked. I, I was offered many times. They offered right. a good pause. Mm. I said, "Look, I'll sleep on the table. <laughs> I <laughs> can't sit on the table. Yeah. After one hour, I'll be sleeping." It gets and very I like mm. also mm. going to places. Yeah. 
yeah. and personally being there myself. Right. I do not want to order. Mm, mm. In fact, you know, uh, my teacher Al Qazi told me once. Mm. He said, you know, in this country, what you have to do, you have to lead by yourself. Don't wait for another person to do it for you. He will never do it. Right. And he had experienced himself when he was director of National School of Drama in the right. beginning. When you joined, I think Ibrahim Al Qazi no, was. He the was the director. Yeah, the director. We were with him for four mm. years. Mm -hmm. with and he used to lead from the front and uh, there was no question of not we yeah. not leading the front. In fact, this brings me to uh, this uh, Amal Allana's biography of Rabbi yeah, Al-Qazi yeah, that yeah, has yeah. just come out and yeah. it's beautifully written yeah. again. And yeah. It gives a sense of that period also of the life yeah. that is lived, such a richly lived life. Yeah, yeah. So that brings me to another question about your association of course with Sahmat and yeah. that was another you know, sort of turmoil. turning point and you know, the turmoil you see, these that are history. Those, you know, if you, it is like your, I look now you are asking me, mm -hmm. it's like on a small boat in the ocean mm -hmm. and wave hits you this side <laughs> and right. you keep, you have to sail your boat. Mm -hmm. And when Sabda died, we were sitting like this in mm -hmm. uh, Defense Colony House, me and why it was January 1st. Mm -hmm. I would have called, mm -hmm. Sabda Cook is saying, somebody has hit Sabda, he was doing a play. You think, yeah, oh, he must be broken somehow, oh, let's go and fall. He was doing a play in Sai Baba. Sai Baba. Mm. Ne, very near here, it yeah, was yeah. in Devala. Mm. And when I went there and I mm. went to the hospital, my wife is a pediatrician. So right. yeah. And yeah. he was bleeding from nose, from mm. everywhere, and it was just a matter of time. And the, by mm. evening, you know, next day he was gone. Mm. And But that shook the country. Right. That day I saw the strength of the arts. Mm. Everywhere in the country there were protests. Mm. And in the third day of the protest, entire community of uh, theatre people, artists and the workers, because he was a political man, his political people also, right. reclaimed the place where he was attacked, that space. Mm. And his wife had a courage and mm. a man, she acted that play that day. Wow. So that was something. Mm. And from that onwards, you know, um, we said, he used to always talk to me, to mm. other friends also, mm. you know, we should have something for the, mm. only for the underdog, you see. Mm. Nobody thinks of the underdog in this country. Mm. He's just a mm, talk about. Right. Very few people can change his life. It's a big thing to change lives. Mm -hmm. And we should do plays for them, etc. We'll do. That time it was, uh, Utsav was happening. What was called? Mm. Uh, Lok, we should do Lok Utsav. There was, the government of India was spending millions in those Utsavs. Yeah. Mm. And we created. Then uh, we got all together. Artists mostly got together. Right. We sort of sorted out, okay, let's make an organization in his name, mm. Sadar Hashim Memorial Trust. Trust. And there we have been doing for 35 years. Yeah. We have never taken a grant. Mm -hmm. Never took a grant from anybody. We have no, a lot of people want to offer you from foreign countries, you know, constitution it is written. Yeah. No foreign finance will come mm. to us. Uh, so we, it is all of us donate, all of us work to artists, donate mm. and create one thing of, but it is a, also an organization of cultural resistance. Yeah, yeah. We do public, mm. big resistance, mm. uh, sit-ins, cultural exhibitions, uh, uh, these um, publications, mm. just whenever there is some crisis happens, right. our response is always there right. through seminars. But at the same time, we don't do it like a propaganda, like in our political parties. It's, it's very also, cerebral and very... It is cerebral, mm, yeah. it's very grey matter, mm. and pinning the point where yeah. the point is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Sir. So we so will not... It has created a new art, in fact, because right, right. art of cultural resistance. True, that true. We have an exhibition we just finished in Jawan okay. by one of the young painters. Amazing exhibition. Yeah. How they look at it is called the moment of collapse. Okay. Very interesting title. Yeah. <laughs> we have seen collapse of uh, a many lot of things, many, <laughs> many things in recent years, and uh, that brings me to another question about uh, you know uh, uh, you know th this whole uh, uh, theatre scene in India. So that uh, Sahmat, in a sense, has also given a lot of hope to people, uh, and especially those who have, are associated with theatre. How do you look at uh, the theatre scene now? Then th you know, then say. Uh, it was at that point of time. Do you see more no. new energy, more... I see mm -hmm. wider and deeper energy across, mm -hmm. but in smaller spaces. Right. Okay. It has almost disappeared from the big scene mm -hmm. for two reasons. Mm -hmm. Nowhere in the India there is an infrastructure for India's 
experimental avant-garde work. Right. You have art galleries, but you don't have mm -hmm. that for theater. Mm. So youngsters have created their own spaces. Yeah. Little space. You'll see in Mayur Vihar, you'll see five, seven spaces. Okay. They're training the actors. Mm. They're doing a 50-seater auditorium. Mm. This much is the auditorium and they're working there. Mm. And I think the energy is on. Mm. The candle is already lit. Mm. It's glowing very well. Mm. And we are all shunning today, even me, big theatres, because they are beyond our reach and we will not give money to the owner. Mm. Make some money will be taken. Imagine a Kamani like auditorium, is, which is not a great auditorium in the world. Yeah. It's taking one and a half lakh for you to one night. Yeah. And imagine the whole money goes into that. Why would, where should we do that? We'll go to the people. Yeah. yeah. Who can do under a tree. Mm. And that is the idea now that is taking place. It doesn't matter. We'll do our work. Right. And what I've seen in this youngster, they're not wasting their time. Believe me, mm. that's some remarkable work. Mm. Remarkable. Mm. I like going always to these youngsters right. to watch them. Mm. Now the buzzers that are here comes. Mm. So they'll invite me to yeah. come. <laughs> so, <laughs> and uh, it enriches me also. It mm. gives me a great hope. Right. Right. Yeah. So we are talking about reclamation of the heritage of the spaces and in a way as a cultural activist you did that, you reclaimed the heritage that Safdar Hashmi had sort of uh, envisioned for Indian theatre. And regarding this memoir of course this is another act of reclamation in a sense that you… Uh, you documenting. <laughs> documenting? Of course that's very that's very important. Yeah, because no, yeah. otherwise yeah. Who, see, when I don't work in Delhi they say another person you're doing something else, where is he? Mm. Mm. They forget that you can work anywhere else also. Right, right. So I had this problem that everybody, where were you? Where were you? Mm. And you ask me, what have you been doing? <laughs> then right. I'll tell you what I've been doing. Yeah, yeah. So it was also for that to tell them, look man, I was right. not wasting my time. I did something really, really <laughs> much more interesting. Yeah, yeah interesting. And, and regarding this, uh, you know, the, the, the issue of Kashmiri Pandits, uh, I yeah. mean, of course, uh, that, was, that was a moment that uh, caused that biggest rupture that there has been in existence for many, many years, ever since that 34 happened. 34 years now. 34 years now. And there, there is a lot of pain, there is a lot of trauma. And you write that, you know, you left the place, but that place never actually left you. And there was a sense of, you know, uh, that you, one day you could possibly return, that always there. That place sort of, you know, lived inside you in, yeah. in many ways. And there's a poignant way of putting it that you've written. Uh, and I wanted to understand from you that, you know, do you also see this book as a kind of, and you write about the return, that you actually go to, uh, you know, uh, Kashmir and you do all the, the, these folk theatres there, uh, at the very grassroots level, meeting people, you know, yeah. and especially this Bahan Pathir theatre, yeah. right? So if you could talk a little bit about that, that, you know, uh, that through this memoir you also, uh, because when we talk about uh, Kashmiri Pandits, there's a lot of, uh, you know, rancor, there's a lot of uh, uh, rhetoric, uh, you know, we have had films which are completely, completely, you know, uh, 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 taking a stand which is like, you know, uh, which feels that it's actually uh, a narrative that is, tr uh, you know, this is going to trigger a lot of enmity rather than build bridges. You, you see, know, so, yeah. art hmm. always has to unite people. Right. Art is the insulation between the live electric wires so that the sparks don't come. That's my understanding of it. Mm. And for 34 years, whatever films you've talked about, yeah. none of them has been made by Kashmiri. Yeah. It has been made a person mm. who knows nothing about Kashmir. Mm. Funds have come from somebody. And he has not been, he is getting the money to make the film, mm. so he will do anything to make the film. Mm. But then for, if you do that compromise, the next compromise will be how to sell it, third compromise will come. But I think as a united Kashmiri voice has yet to arrive, yeah. has not arrived. I mean, I'm, I know it. You are talking about from a filmmaker's perspective? All oh, arts, okay. arts, okay. arts. Okay. Okay. See, for example, these, uh, because they have no access to the language, they have no access to the life. Yeah. I had a little advantage because I had this problem. I mm. it, oh, you mean to say I can never go to home, never? Even if I don't have a home now there? Mm. How can you do that? Mm. I worked in, in, in Sikhrayats, I worked with Samat, I worked with mm. all kinds of, you know, things that have happened, all these post independent. Yeah. How can I abandon my own mm. birthplace? Mm. It used to bother me to be very, my, my family knows it, it mm. used to bother me. 
and luckily my family is like me mm. Mm. they don't say why you're going to the yeah. kitchen yeah. but inform us what you when you got it <laughs> so mm. i went there first day i lost all friends mm. i do not know who is where mm. when it's the thing they were mm. not there but it's mm. another now then the muslim friends they had to be because it was a danger area yeah. by 3 in the afternoon or 4 mm. in the afternoon there was never a soul on the roads mm. Mm. and talking about 2000 1999 like right. that and only you could see people in guns going mm. here and that was it and in fact one phone tell me my hotel man telling me mm. don't stand on the road always come inside you know oh. you know the, you have to watch over your shoulder yeah yeah what do you start there's a saying in kashmiri mm. you enter through the needle hole mm-hmm. and you should come be able to come out of the elephant's gate yeah so that Mm, mm. my mother used to tell me all these things yeah. these are lovely w- w- proverbs yeah yeah and i think i try to find this hole mm. and it came through a mouth of pub you know message to you mother can we do sit mm. together quietly yeah nobody knows i am there mm. till i after one year i came back i said we'll do a workshop mm. and no had no place i knew nobody somebody said what do you want what exactly you mm. i said i need a place for 30 boys mm. and we'll go somewhere and work Right. that you have to find a place for us mm. colleges were closed mm. universities were closed you have every space mm. they told me go to the agriculture university and see right. it and it is between the mountains beautiful place mm. Mm. there was a building at the end a hostel mm. nobody there i thought this is the place i'll work mm. and we worked there first day i had two people and it was raining heavily mm. and my assistant i had two assistants and says sir you will work here as a team there is one we'll work mm. but as with god's grace within one week we had 30 people mm. who came from remote areas who can who send a message to whom god yeah. only knows we don't know and okay. 30 days we were together from morning till night mm. for these people first i had to cure them mm. they had seen violence of the worst kind in the country side in the villages they live mm. and i remember one example i give i bought a sufiana kalam music singer mm. he's a friend i said you have to come we want to listen to you mm. he sang that song and they started singing with him mm. and they were tears were going down and down and mm. we kept on singing for hours who was the singer ha huh? who was the singer yaku yaku okay, yaku shakushe yaku is a friend okay, of okay, ustad right. okay he right. led them but mm. the 30 people singing and crying mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and i said to myself this mm. is the catharsis yeah and from there you know they, that you know their, their heart they were in mm. they used to say we are choked mm. what we feel we can't speak mm-hmm. we can't say kisko right. bolne yeah. i yeah. my friend of mine he says i go to namaz mm. and uh, i try to namaz and go quietly come i don't talk to anybody mm. i said why as from why he said what do i know what is this man is thinking what mm. is that man thinking mm. i don't talk to my brother i don't share my things with my younger brother mm. i don't know what he is thinking So he came to my Ladakh workshop for one month. Yeah. Stayed there with me. Do when I, I decide to breathe a little space. So situations where you know you have been strangled. Yeah. Even if you felt differently, you could not voice it. Yeah. So from there it was a scratch by scratch. First in the Srinagar city for five years, I created around about three hundred youngsters, trained mm. them. Out of which two girls came at the finally. Mm. One of them became a director also. Mm. Directed the play. Yeah. and then from there i said okay now you take you are got a fishing rod now go eat your villages and make your own groups and they have made all their groups right now they are working and they are doing now national festival and i went to village mm. with the traditional performers okay who had had the f- first times mm. because when you live in a country so there is no security for you yeah and then to them how they had to be healed mm. Mm. and gradually brought them it took me 5 years 6 years other yeah to get them no so this attempt to you know to project art as a means to heal and i think that's what you do because, that's you know through your art i also. don't say that i said yeah. i am a you know darning mm. darning you put a the, if you have nice yeah. shawl yeah. Mm. and there is some hole in it yeah. then you take a thread the color you start darning you know make Course, working yeah. working mm. i'm like that i, mm. I do the darning yeah, do yeah. yeah. all it's fabric beautiful way of putting it put it, it, it's yeah. like that mm. but the my my problem is also i don't have resources right 
very little resource I got from for India Foundation for the Arts. They were very, right. they were alive. They understood after some time what this man is doing there. Mm. Then they gave me a, you know, score, got up a grant for two years working, which was 10 lakhs for the match, mm. but it helped us. Mm. The 10 lakhs in village becomes two, two years. Mm. One year, two years of work. Right. And while we did, we revived their old productions, beautifully done, new costume, everything brand new. They couldn't believe they are not a, they had not a single thing left with them. Mm. I made, I gave my personal money to buy the instruments, which they mm. had no instrument. And after that, when we did that, the people watched us. We went to the open air, nobody touched us, everybody, we got mm. the confidence. Right. Then I said, let us try it now. Mm. We will do something new. Mm. And that is when the Muhammad was an actor, brilliant actor. Mm. I saw him doing the traditional play and when he did some gesture, I said, mm. Lear. <laughs> came from Muhammad. Yeah. I said, Muhammad, you have to do next time, we are doing something new. Mm. We will not do now old Kashmiri yoga. Yeah. We'll do some classic. He said, now is a... Mm. The experiment of prayo coming into me. <laughs> no, right. you can't say that. Now you have to change it. Mm. Mm. So mm. I told the story of King Lear. Mm. It took us one year mm. Mm. to work on it, work on it, and then it became a production which took them uh, all over the country. They yeah. from Kashmir to Tamil Nadu to North East to Bombay to Maharashtra, everywhere they performed. Brilliant. Mm. And my biggest happiness was when they they were flying. Okay. <laughs> I could fly with them, yeah. but they were flying. They were flying for the shows. <laughs> but they had never seen an aeroplane. Yeah. Like right. the and that, that gave them some money also. Mm. They earned some money also. So you but you see, this, yeah. to nurture culture, mm. you need resources mm. to create. Infrastructure to create. Absolutely. Which state is not even, mm. has no idea. Mm. They mm. get these experts, you know what they tell Oh, infrastructure, I, I've been into this, this, this yeah. global kind of managers. Yeah. And mm. picky, picky. And yeah. they talk, I said, do you understand this? What is mm. at stake? Mm. Mm. Traditional knowledge is finishing. I gave them an example. I said, mm. Gulam Rasul is one of the finest Shahnai players, mm. Sarnai players in Kashmir. Mm. He is very old, very sick. Mm. He dies, he dies with the whole knowledge. Nobody has recorded, nobody has documented what we learned, and that's what happened. He recently died. Oh. There are instrument makers dying. Mm. Who will make the instrument? Because making an instrument is completely a science. Mm -hmm. See, for example, Santur. Mm. I made a film on Subhana Kalam of Kashmir. Yes. Santur is an instrument where there is no nail used, mm. it's tied yeah. through yeah. glues. Mm. And so the, and the, Typical wood of one tree only will be used, mm. which that tree, which is in between the uh, w w w water streams. Mm. And they will tell you in the only because it has heard the music of the waves. Yeah. It will vibrate. And now this is a big science to you folks over the car, he will tell, show me, see mm. this works, what it doesn't, it doesn't give good sound, mm. so it won't be used. Mm. But then he said, the final is my ear, which is the final. And then the knowledge is gone. Yeah. And it, it should be a mo one of the national missions of this country. Yeah. They have done on manuscript something, mm. the national mission of traditional musical and oral knowledge which is with this artist. Yeah. Needs to be documented, needs to be photographed, needs to be digitized. Mm. Any person can come tomorrow and work on it. Yeah. So we have to do nothing like that. We are very poor when it comes no, to... No, we are blind, we have yeah. no idea. Mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to do it. So you wrote this during the pandemic and uh, I wanted to understand from you if uh, was it, how was the process of writing it that in terms of, uh, because there are memories which are very, very uh, disturbing also and uh, painful in many ways. Uh, then uh, how would you describe the process of writing this and how did you sort of draw on those I, personal I you, memories of actually what growing did I up I said, okay, I have to write, mm. what do I write? Mm. I wrote a little bit, you know, titles. You wrote by hand? Tit titles. Mm. Okay. okay. This, 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 this. No, 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 that. Okay. Mm. And then, with God's grace, uh, mm. somebody says, my memory was intact. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called before I forget. Yeah, yeah. Because people lose memory. I exactly knew what he said that day, mm. what DC told me when we went to Ayodhya. You but but did you have diaries or uh, sometimes? Okay, sometimes. okay. There were some. Mm. But I have a notebook always. Okay, okay. Every time I will write something, a notebook mm. up there. So yeah. they were open there mm. and something came from them. Right. But it was still stories were just coming out, coming yeah. out, coming yeah. out. Yeah. 
In fact, somebody said, I said, look, I think I've jumped many things. I have to write part two. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that would be interesting, actually, you know, because... It's been many things. Yeah. I'm sure there is so much left. Because in this, what I realized, I realized, this is a, the age when I wrote this, um, things which shaped me and my, mm. my beliefs. Right, right. Belief of uh, India, mm. which is hidden in within the Indian people, mm. And which is being disturbed now? Mm. To be, you know, it is. It's not a turmoil. It's a tempest. Yeah, it's like a yeah. tempest, and this boat is going. Mm. And I think we all need to get onto that boat mm. and put our oars into it mm. and sail it through. Yeah. That is yeah. the book. Do you see that happening in this election? I <laughs> think you see. When I see these youngsters. When I go to rehearsals in the mm. evening, mm. I see there is lot, and I have. I feel myself. I have to give to them now more. I have to give them more knowledge, more techniques, more beliefs. I talked to them some a story about say Khan Gafar Khan, the Khan freedom Gafar fighter Khan. Bhatsha, yeah, yeah. Or frontier Bhatsha. Nobody mm. knows. Mm. I mean, nobody knows there was a hospital here in mm. Faridabad. Okay. Gafar Khan hospital. Mm. In quite mm. in last some election, mm. some local chap changed the name of that hospital. Oh. Nobody knew because nobody knew for, no, who no. was he. Why was he a frontier Gandhi? Mm, mm. Nobody knows. So therefore, it is very important for all of us of my age or younger than me, mm. please write the truth. Mm. Write the truth. Mm -hmm. Let it remain there. Somebody will pick it up. Right. And I if you don't so. leave a desert, after mm. all trees are cut, don't plant a thing, then right. desert is there. Right. At a time when there is a lot of half-truths being peddled, uh, and on that they build their own yeah. truths. <laughs> spin to the whole thing. Uh, spin, yeah. spin. True, right. On that note, sir, thank you so much for talking to us. It was really a pleasure talking thank to you. Thank you, thank uh, you very may much. May many readers get to read this book. Uh, it's written with a lot of, as I said in the beginning of the interview, with a lot of candor, with a lot of honest, honesty. And uh, it gives you a sense of uh, a life that has been richly lived and uh, a sense of how um, M. Kirana has shaped uh, the cultural sort of, uh, uh, I, I would say it's efflorescence in, in the post-independent India. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs>